409 new coronavirus cases in Oregon. That is a new daily record high, beating the previous record, which was set just a few days ago. Multnomah County registered 99 of those cases with Marion and Washington counties following behind with 61 and 55 respectively. Now this is the first time Oregon has seen over 400 cases in a single day. And it also continues a disturbing trend. The four days with the highest number of cases have all been recorded in Oregon since July 1st. All total, Oregon has now confirmed almost 12,000 cases of the coronavirus. No new deaths were announced, keeping the state's death toll at 232 people. The latest numbers from Washington state now show more than 39,000 cases with over 1,400 deaths. Nationally, over 3.2 million cases have been confirmed in the United States. More than 134,000 Americans have now died from the COVID-19 virus. Coin 6 is Jennifer Dowling. She joins us now with what health officials here in Oregon have been saying about this uh, increase in numbers that we've been seeing in the past week or so. Jennifer. Well, Wayne, it's troubling. Uh, health officials have tried to get a handle on it. They uh, actually have a mask mandate to work with that requires public uh, people in public spaces to wear masks to protect themselves and others. But officials say there's still a long way to go before we can turn things around. Everyone has tables out here for the outdoors. Restaurants and other businesses are serving patrons again with mask mandates in place and most people trying their best to wear them. It's easy to do other than having your glasses fog up all the time. <laughs> but local health officials say there's much more that needs to happen to stop the spread of the virus and keep those businesses open. Maybe it is necessary for us to be scared. Scared about the fact that we, each and every one of us, is doing a bad job of containing this virus. The Oregon Health Authority reports that since Oregon began reopening, health officials have seen daily positive cases of the virus shoot up, especially when family and friends get together for graduations, birthdays, weddings, and holidays. Wear a face covering to keep your social circle small. Um, and when you do get together, uh, have it be outside, maintain six feet of distance, and keep doing those prevention measures, washing your hands, using um, hand sanitizer, um, and just keeping activities close to home. This isn't the time to be getting on an airplane or to be taking a cross country trip. It's also spreading more rapidly among young people with specific outbreaks in Oregon linked to exercise classes, a fraternity party and a bachelor party. This activity in part helping to slow the tri-county attempts to move to phase two reopening. We've heard a lot from our local businesses about their wanting to open. And I understand that, right? There's our livelihood. But we know from the numbers that uh, we're not doing well, that this virus is spreading throughout our community. Many are hoping that people step up to the plate and follow the guidelines designed to stop the spread. People are going to stay hopefully a lot safer, healthier, and look out for others as well. As for the total number of deaths, that is holding steady since yesterday in Oregon at 232. Back to you, Wayne. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.